everyone. Thank you for coming and watching my little video. I am working on a new journal using Artie Mays' Spring Digital Kit. And in this video, I'm just um, doing some envelopes. So there is, you know, a regular craft envelope. And I thought that would be a neat little pocket space. And so I just went ahead and uh, glued down the center. I don't know where I came up with this idea. I'm sure somebody else has done it before me because I'm not that creative. <laughs> and I'm just trying to decorate these up a bit. I probably, in hindsight, should have used white envelopes because this is a spring journal and I wanted bright colors because we're all probably tired of the cold and the snow. But I have these in my stash and I want to use them. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of collaging here to fancy it up a bit. I didn't want to do the back side because I figure whatever we stick in that little tuck spot will cover it up. But I might change my mind later. <laughs> so I'm just laying down some music paper, one of Artie Mays's, um butterflies from the kit and a scrap of old curtain lace. And I'm trying to find something small enough to put on that other side flap. But all of these cutouts seem to be too big. And so I look in my other little storage pack and they're all big too. I'm sure I'm gonna use them throughout the journal though because that would be a perfect theme to go along with. So I'm just kind of picking and pulling. Those are some papers um, out of a, a book. I tore up all of the little flowers out of it. And I'm sure I'll use those too, hopefully anyway. And I'm just trying out some things that I pulled and it's not working for me. So I have another little container to my right side. <laughs> and I'm thinking and thinking and I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to do something different. Um, I want to do a lot of little tuck spaces, tuck spots, and springy, and not so much the grunge. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I made another little tuck spot there. So this little envelope has a lot of little tuck spots as well as the ones on the, the side there. So this little piece here. I'm not sure where I got it from, <laughs> but I saw it in my stash. And I'm like, that's spring. <laughs> and I'm making a little belly band out of it. So it just uh, shows that you don't have to use it what it's always intended for. I'm not sure what it was intended for. <laughs> you know, it could have just been glued down or just a floating little pocket. And I'm just trying to think outside the box, think of stuff that I normally wouldn't think to do. And here I'm making like a little pull-out concertina, maybe, little page. And that's another piece that I found in my to-be-cut tray. <laughs> and so I cut it out, and I saw it. It's like, well, that's spring. And... Of course, I'm edging everything because I just love that worn look, especially when you do it on the edges of the fold out. And that's just some heavyweight coffee paper. I was deciding what type of glue to use. So I trust my little uhu glue stick. And I'm just going to lay that down. I'm having difficulty this whole time trying to get things straight. <laughs> You'll see later. <laughs> oh. And at the last second, I'm deciding, do I make this another tuck spot? And I decide since it's paper and there's already enough tucks, let's just glue the whole thing down. So it'll be nice and secure when they, you know, flip it open to write on. I'm always using a combination of glues, you know, just whatever will stick into the spot I need. 
It's a little curvy there at the moment, that first piece, because the glue is still wet, but it'll flatten out when it dries. And here's some of the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper. And I always debate whether to use a glue stick or whether to use, you know, Mod Podge. And since this is a big piece, um, it's safer for me to use the Mod Podge. Otherwise, I would just tear it all up when I try to glue it. I'm trying to make a, a really thin coat so that it, it dries quicker and doesn't buckle as much. Normally, I would have uh, torn the straight edges off. Uh, I must have been in a hurry and just didn't think about it. <laughs> so, I am going to use the heat gun to dry this up a bit because I'm impatient. And there's another little piece that wasn't stuck down, so I decided to tear it off. I wanted to be sure I didn't glue that flap shut. <laughs> And here I remember to cut the end off so I'll have a tuck spot. But I'm deciding, well, it doesn't look like a tuck spot, so I wanted to put the little thumb notch in. Then I'm like, well, let's do the thumb notch on both sides. And then it was a little hard because I just Mod Podged that on, and I think it was glued, I mean, dried all the way. I had to put a little elbow grease into that punch. So I decided to do a little string closure. And I've never done one where the envelope is like already closed. So I'm curious to see if my little fingers will go all the way through and open up the brads. And here I was so nervous I was gonna poke through all the papers. I was like really taking my time. And I may have been a little worried that I was going to poke my finger too, but it was mostly through the back paper. <laughs> I didn't want to poke through that. So these are doable. My fingers did reach and were able to open up the brad, so that was good. I just gave it a little pop to flatten out the brad. <laughs> I didn't want to do that yet because I wanted to make sure I got the string around it. I'm just uh, tying a little... Uh, slip knot and using that you can just do regular you know two knots I thought it'd be all fancy and do a slip knot <laughs> I remembered how to do that since I was little and I don't remember what craft I learned it for I don't know but it worked and it made a cute little closure so I believe this is a card from her uh, kit, digital kit. I printed it out on uh, medium weight cardstock. It's a little postcard. And here's a cute little bag I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gluing down that little flap so I have a little tuck spot there. I think I found those in the party section instead of the craft section. So always make sure you look everywhere. You never know where you're going to find something. <laughs> I was looking for the glassine bags, you know, that size, but I couldn't find them. But I did find these, so it was a good day. So I just wanted to decorate up that little flap there. I decided on this little piece of lace. And it's, I decided not to make this another tuck spot behind it, so I just glued the whole thing down. And that postcard on the left, I went ahead and glued on a little cockeyed. <laughs> so you'll see me, I grabbed some sorry lace, or sorry silk there, to put on the bottom. Although imperfect is just fine, but it was bugging my OCD. <laughs> Or was that perfection? I don't know which thing it bothered, but. So I'm just going along and, and putting, adding little extra little tuck spots here and there. And I hope you're enjoying this video. I hope it gives you a little bit of idea of how to decorate things. And thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope you enjoy. I will see you next video. Happy crafting!
Bye-bye.